Hey everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you around my rat cage. But before I do that, I'm going to clean it completely because I haven't spot cleaned since I cleaned my cage last week. And normally I spot clean every two days at least, but it just kind of didn't happen, I guess. So it's kind of dirty right now. So I will time lapse me cleaning the entire cage, then adding that to the end of this video. So if you're interested in seeing that, you can watch it too. Let's go! Alright, so this is my cage with the doors closed. It's a Savic Royal Suite 95 double. It has two levels and then like a storage area at the bottom. It's some wheels so you can easily move it around. And let's see what it looks like with the doors open. So once the doors are open, this is what you'll see. The doors open all the way, so it's very easy to access every corner of the cage. And I really, really love that about this cage. All right, so now let's see what my cage looks like on the inside. So this is the top of my cage. As cage liners, I use um, bath mats from IKEA in the model Tovko. They are in excellent size for this cage. Uh, only for this level I had to cut out a piece so they can access the bottom, but otherwise it just fits perfectly, you don't have to cut anything. Then next up, I cover all my ladders with knee-high socks, just so it's um, nice and comfortable for them to walk on. Next on the top level I have their footballs over here, and then in the corner I have a litter tray, Inside the litter tray, I put a back to nature. Um, it's like a recycled paper. So yeah, I just like to use this. Um, I've never tried anything else, but I am happy with this, so I'm sticking with it. So here I have this natural granite stone. Uh, it's especially nice in summer to cool them down as it stays nice and cool. You can also put this in the fridge or the freezer to chill it down some more. Then in the corner over here, I have a little hut. I change this up with other kind of corner huts or just hideouts. But this is a ceramic one. It's nice and fresh for hot weather. And as you can see, I added like a leftover toilet paper so they can run around with this, make some nests and have some fun. And then here we have Hades modeling my walking device thingy <laughs> so i just closed this door so you can see better um i attached all these uh climbing what do you call it like climbing wands climbing wood sticks i have no idea how to call these but you can see what they are so they can easily access their sputnik or space pod i also have this this like a kind of bird perch where you can adjust the shape and the size so you can make it fit your cage and I thought it was really cool. So there in the right top corner I have the Sputnik. Then in the center I have a double tiered hammock right now. This is one of the first hammocks I ever made. Still doing great so why not use it. Oh yeah in the back I also have this rope perch that also leads up to the Sputnik. When they climb on here, they have access to this top level. I put another hideout here, then another litter tray in the back. And then they can use this perch to go up to the Sputnik. I also have a water bottle attached here. It's attached to the outside and the nozzle is on the inside of the cage. All right. That's kind of it for the top level, I guess. For the bottom level, you have this entry here with a ladder that goes down. And I like to put a triangular hammock right here just to break their fall in case they would slip these branches or anything. So it's just safety reasons. So then we go down. This is the bottom level of the cage. As you can see, this has more colors, is a bit more busy, as I like to call this the play area, and then the top would be like the 
the chill out area, even though my rats don't give a shit. <laughs> it's just for my own aesthetic pleasure. <laughs> so, when my rats come down from the top level, you do it through this ladder, again, knee-high socks, the triangular hammock. In the back, I have another little tra litter tray with back to nature. Just a cool hideout. This is like, um, how do they, uh, uh, how do they snuggle? Oh, what are they called? Uh, tummy stuffers. Yes, tummy stuffers. So this is like a tummy stuffer. Um, they are quite hard to find here in Belgium. It's already pretty chewed up, but hey, they still love it. So why not use it, I guess? And I see, wait, I was like, what is wrong with this? But it's not attached to this hook anymore. This is hard with one hand. Bear with me, guys. Oh, a rat crawling onto me. I will have to use my left hand. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so, before I go down, I wanted to show you that they can access this tube. So it's another nice resting place in here. And then here I have a corner hammock. So this top part of the cage, they like to sleep there, like to rest. So I try to fill it up with some hammocks. From this level, if they go down, oh, I also have like a chewing treat in the back there. So when you go down from this level, yes, demonstrate, please, kind sir. Oh, no, that was a no. <laughs> so if they go down, they enter, yeah, there you go. They enter the bottom of the cage where I have quite some stuff laying down, actually. Uh, most of it are just toys. So I have different toys. This is actually a cat toy. That they like to chew the rope. I have some uh, chews like this, which they really like to carry around. Yes, good boy. So I just try to provide a lot of chewing materials to prevent boredom, but also to prevent that they chew my bat mats or the hammocks or other kind of hideouts. It doesn't always work, but hey, at least they haven't chewed up these bat mats. And I have been using these for well over a year now, I think. All right, so further on the bottom of the cage, right here, I usually put a decorative cushion liner. So this is like a fleece cushion liner. As you can see, it has the, the zipper still attached. I was too lazy to take it out. Whoops. And then I just attach like a little loop and attach the loop to like these oh. kind of... Let me see if you can see that. Um, just like these kind of loops where this mid-level tray is resting on so there i attach this pillow cover and they actually really love to sleep in here so it's cheap and it's a nice hideout then there in the back i have another little litter tray some more chewing toys then a big wooden bridge to help them reach the top and just run across here. I have a silent spinner in the back, which is not that silent actually, but hey, I got this as a gift from a good friend. So thank you so much. I'm really happy with it. And this little guy is the only one who is using it to run. Gobi is actually using the silent spinner often to sleep on, so. Hey, as long as it serves a purpose, why not, right? <laughs> then the only part that's left is this left bottom corner and I have a strawberry, like blue strawberry hideout here. I got this from AliExpress quite a while ago. Yeah, it's kind of falling apart. I'm gonna have to order a new one, but I still like to put it back because yeah, they like to hide their food in there. And over here I have another chewing toy, but this is also like a boredom breaker so you can use this like a foraging toy so you can put treats in between these layers and then they can forage and have some fun i still have to try that out so i will let you guys know uh, how my rats like it 
if you want to stay updated on stuff like this you can follow me on instagram at diy pets life where i usually give updates about my rats day-to-day -day life i just have some chewing stones in here they don't really use it but hey i put it close to the water so they can fall down their nails a bit so then here i have another water bottle yeah that was the inside of my rat cage then i have like a a little storage area where I store the back to nature, their food, some cleaning supplies, my homemade rat cookies. If you're interested in knowing how I made these, you can watch my video on this. So yeah, that's like just basic storage. I have some wet wipes down there. I don't use these inside of my rat cage as I am quite scared that they there would be chemicals inside that can affect my rats health so i only use these to clean surfaces where my rats don't run around all right so that's it if you enjoyed my case setup please give this video a thumbs up you can subscribe to my channel for more content like this and you can follow my rats around on instagram daily at the ally pets live thank you so much for watching i'm going to add in the clip of me cleaning the cage now so you can watch that if you like and i'll hope to see you next time bye